guys. Hello. How are you? We're going this way. See your report. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. You guys just talked to Sully? Yes. Did you understand him? No. <laughs> Sometimes. He's the best. He's the best. <laughs> so what's the appeal of the show for you and for both each of you? And I also am curious why you think it's connected with people right away. The premiere is one thing, it's the publicity all summer, but then mm. it's the audience is still. Right. I don't, I don't know. I, I think it's... I, I know for me why I was drawn to it was... I mean, I love puzzles, and so it's basically just a person that's a treasure map. And, um, you know, just sort of breaking it down in sort of the crudest terms. And she's a treasure map. And that's rad. Um, but I think also, as the show goes on and, and the writers are really trying to sort of give everybody, like bring everybody's personal stories and, and weaving that into the show, uh, I, I think it's good. And, the, and it, honestly, like I know people say this, but it, is, does, it does get better. I mean, we, I think we, we started at a good place, and um, I think we're all really working hard together to try to make something something special and something different. Yeah, I agree. Um, I, I, the, the whole thing of puzzles, you know, I think people, people want to feel clever. People want to watch the show and figure stuff out for themselves and pat themselves on the back when they get it right, or not, do you know what I mean? Because I think... What keeps you there is going, I didn't see that. So I'm going to wait for the next one and see if I pick up anything else, you know. Um, I certainly feel that way when the, the, the scripts come out and before, they, before you know what it's leading to, trying to see if I can and see what that is. Um, the thrill of it, and, and just the fact that this woman's covered from head to toe. So there's yeah. so much mileage in it you know they might find an ant on her elbow you know that leads to something it, this could go on forever you know basically yeah. so that's what you think attracts viewers to the show the, the ongoing puzzle what is it that attracted you guys specifically to your roles uh, is, there a, is there a particular thing that stood out to you when you read the scripts that made you decide that you want to work on this show um, I think it was the the ambiguity in the character that um I became aware of in the early process of, of, of um, talking about it, that I just felt she's just not one thing. And for me, that's very interesting, you know, to play somebody that has a little, got something going on, you know. Uh, and yeah, that was, that was basically it. Yeah. I, I mean, I've never played a character like this before, so I think that was one thing. Um, wanted to, to try and I think sometimes as, as an actor you like doing things that kind of make you a little nervous or feel like a challenge and um, but also I just I just really liked the script and the story and, and um, I just I'm, I'm glad they, they cast me in it. <laughs> um, with Mayfair and we saw last week with her sort of, sort of allegiance a little shady mm. things going on. Mm -hmm. um, are we going to see more of that? And is it possible that other people from the team are also maybe... Everything's uh, possible. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, you will see more of that. And just sort of manipulating James a little bit. You may see some of that. <laughs> it's so frustrating. I want to tell you. <laughs> but, it's very similar to your experience. Not really. Uh, that was... Mm. Yeah, that was... I mean, I knew who she was from the very beginning with Broadchurch. Um, so, you know, there were no surprises. Uh, but with this, it's like she's evolving and changing and new things are being revealed all the time, which is different the most surprising aspect of your character so far? So far? God, this is so frustrating. I cannot tell you. Yeah. Sure you can. I can't. 
I can answer that one. But I'm not allowed to. <laughs> about yeah. her character, you are. About her character, yeah. 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 Well, I could tell you a few things I about her, but right. I'm not yeah. going to. <laughs> yeah. Um, but there are surprises, you know, and you just have to roll with it. Yeah. yeah. Episodic television, of course, is directors come and go all the time. I'm just curious, mm -hmm. on a show like this, do you feel the director's bringing anything special to the mix? I think the style has pretty much been put, it's been set up. So it's going to look a particular way and stay that way. But different, they, they bring their styles in and, you know, it, it, that's also interesting because you, although you feel like a director would come in and his pace would be much slower than the director you had before, but then you'll watch the episode and it will look the same. Mm. So they keep that. What changes is the way they deal with us, you know. Um, and that's... It's what yeah. is it? It's yeah. interesting. They all, just, they all definitely have different styles, which is mm. fun because you, in terms of how they sort of interact with us, yeah. and like how that can sort of bring out a different performance or mm. or the tone may feel a little bit different depending on who it is. And, um, but it's kind of fun that way. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. I guess in post production they do what you said, which is shape it to be like the other. Yeah. Episodes. Yeah. How do you do with the show scenes? Great. How do you yeah. sorry? about the action scenes? Oh yeah, I think they look good, man. Yeah, yeah they do. No, they're very good. They're convincing, aren't they? Yeah. Hold on. Say I gotta hello. Go say hi to I'll look after the table. Oh, let's go. Yeah, they are good. I think they're really good. I should talk about her character so while she's gone. Yeah. She's kidnapped. Yeah. And, uh, no, I'm joking. Yeah. All right, guys. Continuing on the theme Sorry, of the right. of the set, right? Yeah. Do you have a favorite on camera moment, like your favorite scene you've shot so far? And then also a second part. Do you guys have a favorite off camera moment, like a fun part of working on the show? Or All your, right, I will tell you a scene that you've seen because I can't tell you about the scenes that you haven't. I really enjoyed doing the scene with uh, Carter, who comes in at the end of the last episode, and because there's so much that's going on. That's not revealed, but but there was all this tension, and I loved to play. He's a great actor, and I really enjoyed doing that scene. How about how about off camera, like a, a fun experience? We have fun all the time. We're always laughing at something. Yeah. You know, they laugh at me because I have some ridiculously high heeled shoes on because I don't want to stand on an apple box. <laughs> so that gets a lot of laughter. We have a lot of fun. Offset. We're, we're, we're all, um, we're, we all eat a lot, so. Some more than just, others. Some more than others. <laughs> no, um, yeah, but it's a good groove. You know, we have such a good, we have such a great time. Actually, yeah. um, oh, yeah. Do you have a favorite on-camera moment, favorite scene you've shot? Um, I did love that scene with them. A lot of the times it's not stuff that, 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 that I'm in, but there is something that, that we just shot for episode Eight. Eight or seven? I think it was eight that I really loved. It was like oh, a whole... Oh, was it nine? I love some stuff in nine, too. Yeah. Can you give us a hint? No. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think if I can give you a hint without giving Good anything shot. away. Do you make it into a riddle. <laughs> How will we know, know it when we see it? She's in it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Um, How will you know oh, it when you so see hard. it? it's so hard. Why do you have these things if you can't um, speak? It has to do with old books. <laughs> oh, man. Ashley. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's too much. Before you actually end up filming it. And um, just to kind of the second part of that question, um, we've seen like law enforcement shows kind of evolve over time where they are they have a longer arc instead of you know, having everything wrapped up in one episode. How do you like to watch shows like yours? I'm a I'm a binge washer by nature. I like I don't like I shouldn't even say this, should I? I don't like commercials, but I don't. <laughs> I don't like. I want to be able to sit down and have like a theatrical experience with no breaks. So I tend to collect a number of things yeah. and then just plow through them. You know, and I mean we get our. The first part of the question, we get our scripts like a week, yeah, a week in advance. 
a week or week or more sometimes yeah, in advance and read those before we, you know, so that we can flag anything up or, you know, if you need to prepare for something. And how do you like to watch shows like yours? I mean, shows like yours that have, you know, ongoing art I like I like to binge watch too. I mean, I think the streaming is, is just made that so easy nowadays. You can just kind of watch mm. everything all at once. I mean, it's um, but with this, I mean, we don't we, we watch it live. But uh, I prefer to watch things in a chunk, even if it's a procedural or it doesn't have you know. But at least with this show, there there is a you know a through line. Mm. Um, Kind of for all of us now, which is cool. Um, I think if I think if you were to pick up somewhere in the middle with this, you'd be so confused. I'm not sure though, because it's like what well, what they've been very clever at doing is each week there is another tattoo. Yeah. So at least with that, yeah. you can jump on board and kind of work out. Okay, this is going to lead to that, and you can watch that crime bit yeah, little, of yeah, it yeah. and enjoy that. Yeah. Even though you don't know all the other stuff, like, yeah, well, yeah. who is she? Why doesn't she know what a bridge is? Blah blah, you know. <laughs> or a Last question. Great, Ashley. I just wanted to ask you real quick. Um, I write for a Chinese website, and I don't know if you know, but Growing Pains was the first American show ever to air in China. I've heard wow. that. Yeah, I've heard and, that. It, and it brought in all the rest of the American shows that are there now. Yeah. With the 30th anniversary, they just wanted me to ask: Do you have any memories? Any, any comment about uh, your time on Growing Pains? I know you were very young. I know. I was so young, but I. That was that was the first basically thing that I I'd been a part of for a, you know I, I did this cool movie before that but you know to be on a show and, and an established show at that time um, I was so young but it was such an amazing experience and uh, that cast I still talk to some of the cast mm -hmm. and they're all just wonderful wonderful people and it was it was a great experience yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.